Guys, honestly, I remember back in the day when I was onboarding clients, I was just so freaking confused as to how to go about, first of all, onboarding clients. What is it that I actually genuinely needed from them? As well as just the whole process of, you know, getting a client to pay the actual invoice to what happens after then, you know, you know, you know what I'm trying to say guys? So in today's video, I'm actually gonna be breaking that down for all of you guys. Now I'm probably gonna piss a lot of people off with this video like I normally do. I feel like honestly that I'm one of the only dudes on YouTube that talks about SMA and an actual technical standpoint where you can actually take the video and actually implement this straight after the video. Most of these dudes I'm watching on YouTube that are actually just doing videos on SMA, they're talking a whole lot but they're not actually saying much. They're, not, they're just talking and talking and talking. These days, they're just being like super flashy and showing off stuff. Me, I have no watches, no Rolexes, no nothing. Not going on fancy trips. I mean, I did get my dream car, but apart from that, I'm just breaking down in these simple videos the exact stuff that you need to follow in order to actually build a successful agency and you can actually use my channel to genuinely build a successful agency. Talking about successful agencies as well, I just want to give a quick shout out honestly, this is the greatest testimonial I've ever had. This what I'm about to put on the screen right now is literally a student that literally was just able to take my program Agency Tramitation which is obviously still in, open for enrollment for you guys and he's been able to scale his agency very very well to the point where he's gone up, gone ahead and actually told his mother about uh, about the actual program so I just want to give a huge shout out to Nick huge shout out to Sharon as well that's his mother and honestly the, the voice note that she actually sent me imagine that I actually helped somebody so well with my actual program I'm um, just with the agency just in general guys I'm not even trying to plug the program but I'm literally just saying like this is this to me is validation that I'm genuinely just on the right path I I have never not once had an SMA like, actual client come to me and say hey Montel I just want to thank you for for doing what you're doing I've told my mum about you here's a voice note from my mum just thanking you like that that never happens this is why I keep saying to you guys that SMA is a great business model but when you start going into done with you or done, done with you and do it yourself kind of like business models where you're actually helping people I feel like you're making a bigger change to people's lives so I want to play the voice note hi Montel it's Sharon Nick's mum um what a beautiful message that uh, beautiful words that you've said about Nicholas. Um, well, first of all, I feel that I know you um, and I'm, I'm really uh, pleased that Nicholas has been able to follow such a great program because he's really making some uh, headway and traction. And uh, I think the Upwork method's going very, very well. And once again, Thank you for being such a great friend and a work colleague with Nicholas. Bye. And honestly, just want to give a huge shout out to Sharon. I feel like just in my entire entrepreneur journey, I've just been fighting this uphill battle where it's just like, I constantly am trying to prove myself. I'm constantly trying to compete against these, you know, these bigger dudes with names that are like 100x, 200, 300x times bigger than mine. And honestly, this is just validation that I'm genuinely just on the right path, doing the right things and helping real people with real family members. So this means more to me than my frigging card I just literally broke. So, so um, Sharon, honestly, if you're watching this, big shout out to you, Nick as well. Absolutely, a, a, you know, it's a pleasure just actually working with you. You've been an absolute dream client of mine, student of mine, whatever you want to call it, just a brother in general. So it's been an absolute pleasure working with you guys. I'll throw that on the screen for you guys if you haven't seen it already. Anyway, let's jump straight into this particular video. So how to onboard clients just real quick, guys. Now, I'm going to give you kind of like four methods. I'm going to give you a completely free method to onboard clients. I'm going to give you a cheap method, which is only like $3.50 per month to actually you know run this, which is absolutely insane. Then I'm going to give you my recommended method and what I actually genuinely use to this day. And then I'm going to give you the ball away if you you know if you've got quite a little bit of money coming in from your agency or just you know income that you can actually spare and you can actually go the very professional route if you will I will be breaking that down as well so first of all what on earth is an onboarding process so the onboarding process honestly guys is just the I guess what you what you could call it if you break it down in layman's terms it's just the it's the bit after you actually close a client to the bit where you actually start delivering results for them that in-between bit and I noticed that a lot of people actually miss this out so like when you take payments, how do you take the payments? And then what happens after the payment directly? So I just wanna break that down just real quick first. So long story short guys, I know that you probably might have watched my latest video on my actual channel, which is how to take payments. So here's how I basically go about doing this and got getting my, my going from the payment section, like getting paid to actually getting clients onboarded in our ecosystem. So first and foremost, there's a couple of software that you're gonna use and I'll break those down in a second, but I'll be on Zoom, right? I take all of my sales calls on Zoom. On Zoom, I send over the invoice like I showed you guys in the previous video. If you haven't watched that, go and watch that and then come back and watch this. So I send over the payment link 
the actual simple invoices link via the actual Zoom chat. Once that's paid on the call, key, key phrase being on the call, they pay on the call, prospects pay on the call. And then what I do is I send over, right? An email right there and then whilst they're on the call, this is sort of like a template email basically, send them over a template email which basically links them to my onboarding process. Now my onboarding process is a series of seven miniature videos. These videos range from like pretty much, there's like there's like seven videos, five of them are like what, like, they're like one to two minutes long. In fact, most of them are like 30 seconds to one minute and a half long. And then there's two of them that are slightly bigger. Now I do have two onboarding processes, but I won't get, I, won't, I don't wanna confuse you guys too much. But long story short, the onboarding process that I'm using is a series of seven miniature videos that's actually hosted on WordPress. Now, that is basically the entire format of it. These seven videos consist of number one, it's just like an introduction video, which is like a minute, 30 seconds long. And it's just an introduction to why I built the onboarding process, what they can expect from the onboarding process itself, and just how, you know, why I built it in terms of like it just being super smooth. So that's, that's video number one, just an introduction. And again, it's just a video of me just sat there on, on, on like near my laptop, speaking to the camera like I am right now. It's literally this. So the second video is then explaining the actual specifics of the 90 day program. So whenever I close clients, by the way, guys, I close them on a 90 day ordeal, which is three months. So if I close a, you know, Facebook ads client, for example, we're working with them for a minimum of three months and they sign a contract with that, which takes me on to the, 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 the first step. Well, well, second step, I'm just quickly just brief for over that. The, the second step in the onboarding process is just an explanation as to what the service offers, what it doesn't offer, as well as it sets expectations. This second step is obviously like extremely important and the reason for that is because it breaks down exactly what you're gonna be doing for clients, what you're not going to be doing for clients, how to make the partnership between you and your client like successful and just a friendly partnership in, in, in general, just a very nice partnership in general, as well as what will get the partnership discontinued. So what I've noticed in this, and this is very important for you guys, is that the second stage, of the onboarding process or the second step of the onboarding process actually sets your expectations with your clients, which is really, really cool because you need to set expectations with clients. Clients, you can't just close a client and then expect them to understand your methodologies or your systems or your strategies. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up getting clients that micromanage you and I've noticed that everybody that comes into kind of like age tramitation or just gone through other people's programs and they get those headache clients, which expect the world from for, for like literally like, two, I don't know, $10 a day from ad spend. Like, like that, obviously that's obviously very crazy, but long story short, there's clients out there that expect the world from you and there's only they're only paying like 1K a month, 2K a month. And honestly guys, I've realized that most people that go through that situation, they don't have a solid enough onboarding process that sets the right expectations with clients. If you do not do that, guys, honestly, your life is going to be hell. So you need to make sure that in your onboarding process, you have a real solid way of setting expectations, breaking down what you're going to be doing for clients and what you're not going to be doing for clients. And this also eliminates those, those I know that you guys probably come across this, where you get a client, right, for like, I don't know, social media management or something like that, and then they start, they start asking for like, can you write my blog articles? Can you start doing my emails as well? Can you do this thing and that thing, which are outside the scope of your work that you've agreed to? Well, with an onboarding process, right? I make sure that in my onboarding process, I explain that we do not do anything else except for this list here. So I actually even pull up a list of things that we are going to do and the things that we do not do and anything outside of that we do not do as well. So that's the kind of like role of step two. And again, once I started implementing this guys, honestly, my life changed. The clients just became so much easier to manage as well as the expectations were just so much easier to manage as well. So that's step two. And by the way, just real quick, like I said, I do have two onboarding processes. One, I have for social media management clients. And the second one, second onboarding process, I do have for Facebook ad clients. Now, the reason why I have two different onboarding processes is because the step two, so you know, you got step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, step six, and step seven. Step two in the two different onboarding processes is the only video that changes. And the reason for that is because obviously for social media management, there's different things we're gonna be producing, creating, and doing for clients. Whereas in the actual Facebook ads clients, if you will, what we're gonna be doing for them is completely different from what we're gonna be doing for the social media management clients. So I do have two different onboarding processes, but only one of the videos changes like only one of them, and that's the second second video. So video one, three, four, five, six, and seven stay the same in both onboarding processes, except for the second video in both onboarding processes, they're different. It's the same format, it's just that we're just, I'm just explaining different things. That's all that changes in my onboarding processes. Now, 
again, what I, was, what I was basically saying, so step three in the onboarding process, by the way, just to, just to break this down for you guys, is getting them to sign the contract and pay the invoice if they haven't. By the way, they're supposed to, yeah, and I, I know that a lot of people get confused with this, but yes, your clients or prospects, should I say, I should have paid the actual invoice before they see the onboarding process, but sometimes that doesn't happen. So what I've done is in my third video in my onboarding process, I've explained the contract to them. So it's an evergreen contract. Again, this the contract itself is slightly different, but the video is not. The video explaining them that they need to sign the contract is the same video in both onboarding processes, but the contract itself, so there's a link below the video where they can click on the link and it takes them to a software called Signwell. Signwell is a, a contract e-signature kind of like software where they can sign the actual contract online via their mobile phone, their computer, their iPad, whatever it is they're actually using to watch the onboarding process, which is really smooth and automated, guys. And again, it's an evergreen contract for Facebook ad clients and social media management clients, but they're two different contracts. Again, I've, I've had to have these you know, co contracts created and stuff like that from just watching other programs and watching other people and then just kind of like merging my own contracts and creating my, my own contract and whatnot. So yes, you do have to have a contract and I do recommend having a contract. If you guys want the contract, obviously inside of Age I teach you all of this as well as I give you the transcript for each one of the videos so you can actually just copy and paste what I'm saying you can actually just read out in a transcript so I've had it transcribed if you will so you can actually just read out what I'm saying in the video so you've basically got an entire onboarding process as well as the actual structure of the onboarding process you've got that as well now that's stage three again making them you know sign the contract and pay the invoice if they haven't paid the invoice yet and again yes they're supposed to have at this point paid the invoice already but this is just a backup then they sign the contract now stage four is all about getting integrated with the ads manager so when we're actually running Facebook ads for clients even if we're not running Facebook ads for clients and we're and this is a social media management client coming in our coming through our social media management kind of like onboarding process I still get them integrated with the ads manager or the business manager is what I'm trying to talk about here guys I get them and I show them how to create an ad account if they don't have one already how to create a business manager account if they don't already have one of those I should have said business manager account first and then an ad account and then a pixel and then a page I show them how to sh uh, how to create those assets first and I show them how to give us kind of like partner access and I leave my actual business ID number at the bottom of my onboarding process below the video so they can copy that and paste it into the actual partner section uh, in the back end on the business manager so that we can actually get access to all of those assets I just mentioned and I show them what sort of level of authority we need on each one of those assets as well so that's step number four of the onboarding process and it's exactly the same on both um, onboarding processes. Number five is t getting them to tell us about the audience, what their goals are, what their aspirations are, what sort of goals they have. And the way how I do this is just, again, it's just a video at the top. Below it is a link to a Google Drive, uh, excuse me, a Google form. So it's a Google form. So you just go to Google Forms and you create a Google form. Very simple stuff. It's free, by the way. And what I do is I basically just ask them a whole bunch of questions. And again, the questions are different between each Kind of like client that are coming through facebook ad clients they're literally going to have different questions i need them to, to answer obviously then you know compared to a social media management client for example for example like what's your daily ad spend budget that's one of the questions in the actual paid ads kind of like onboarding process then i've got a social media management onboarding process and that would be like what sort of brands would you like to take inspiration from what sort of content out there have you seen that you really like and that you'd like to replicate that's one of the questions in there now as you can see those are two different questions so we've got two different google forms again one for facebook ads one for social media management and again it's just a link below the video so that is step number five step number six is booking in a strategy session with clients so a strategy session is just basically where you go over the overall goals their overall strategy methodology as well as just highlighting things that we, we might may or may not have known whilst they were onboarding as well as just overall just mind mapping there's not really a script for this or anything like that your strategy sessions are pretty much what it sounds like on the tin it's just a session where you jump on with your with you your media buyer your client and their team if they've got any team members that want to jump on or jump on as well and what they do is again in the onboarding process how it looks is again it's just a video just explaining now that you've done all the rep previous steps, it's time for you to book in a strategy session. That's all I say in the video. Then below is just an embedded calendar where they can actually click on my calendar. Again, I use Acuity Scheduling, by the way. Acuity Scheduling costs me like, what, $15 per month, but I already use it for booking in calls anyway, so I'm not going to include this in the cost. And what they do is your prospects, or, well, at this particular point, they're actually a client. Your client will actually click on a time, a date. You then uh, They then select that time and date, and they actually book in a strategy session with you. They then show up to that strategy session, and you handle business, basically. You break down the 
strategy. Again, if you need help with any of this, again, inside of HR it's all taught to you. Then step seven is just literally a video that's like maybe a, a minute long at max, two minutes long at max. And it's just some final words saying, you know, thank you for completing the onboarding process. Thank you for completing all this, all, all the, you know, the intake form, which is the, you know, Google form, as well as, you know, signing the contracts, paying the invoice and actually becoming an actual, you know, solid, solidified client of ours. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be adding you to a Slack channel. And then what you do is you add your clients into a Slack channel. And again, in the Google form, do you get your clients to actually fill out? That will have a question saying, what emails do you want to use for, uh, for your Slack invite? And they will literally put their email in as well as any other team members they need in the, in the Slack channel. And then what you do is you go to Slack, you create the Slack channel based upon their company name, dash whatever you're off offering. If you're offering multiple different services, obviously I don't really recommend that unless you're using the hybrid system. If you don't wanna know what the hybrid system is, go back on my channel, I mentioned it so many freaking times. I'm not gonna do, that's a different story for another day. But long story short, let's say you're working with Nike and you're running Facebook ads for them. What I would do is I just put Nike, Nike in, as, the, as a channel name, dash F B ads. Now guys, that's how we actually handle the actual Slack channel. And again, in the Slack channel, there'll be you, your client, and then your actual team members in there as well, as well as their team members if they want any team members in there. Normally, they'll only have like one or two team members in there, um, depending on the, the, you know, the size of the brand and whatnot, the size of the business and whatnot, but you, get a, you guys get the point. And that's the entire onboarding process in general. Now, let me actually break down the actual kind of like cheap way to do this. Well, I'll, I'll give you the free way to do this, by the way, guys, because I know that a lot of you guys think you need click funnels to build this. You don't actually need click funnels until you're making like 5K a month. The reason why you keep getting sold on click funnels, right, by these big gurus is because they've got an affiliate link. They have an affiliate link, so they're actually going to push click funnels to you so that they can get that commission. Me personally, I don't, I, well, I do have a click funnels affiliate link, but I don't even put it on my YouTube channel. Like literally, I'm not. I'm really not bothered about making money off of ClickFunnels. Now, just real quick, the free way, right, of building your onboarding process is to literally just create your seven miniature videos and just upload them to a YouTube channel. Now, just create a YouTube channel. I believe you have to verify your 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 um, YouTube channel. Just Google how to verify a YouTube channel, and it will show you what the criteria are because you need a video that the second video in your onboarding process will be over ten minutes long. And when you create a brand new YouTube channel, I believe there's a limit to like 10 minutes, how long you can make your your, your, you know, you know, your videos until you verify your YouTube channel. So once you verify your YouTube channel, it lifts that restriction and you can create videos longer than 10 minutes. So the free way would be to just use a verified YouTube channel and just upload your seven miniature videos that I just talked about, your seven videos to that YouTube channel. And then when you onboard a client, just literally put it in like a playlist and send them the link to the first video in the playlist and it will go from video one once video one's ended, it will automatically go to video two. Once that's ended, go to video three. Once that's ended, video four. So you know, you guys know what a playlist is on, on YouTube. I probably should put some playlists on my channel as well. I know a lot of people want me to do that, but long story short, the free, free way to onboard clients. I mean, it's not as professional as it possibly could be, but if you're on a shoestring budget, just use a free YouTube channel and just get, and just literally send, like I said, the very first video to your clients when they're onboarding, when, when, when they've paid the actual invoice. So they pay the invoice, you send them the first link in the actual playlist on your YouTube channel, and it will go to step one, step two, step three, and so on and so forth. Now that's a free way. I, I only recommend that if you're extremely broken, you're, you're on a shoestring budget, you've got zero money. The second way would be if you've got a little bit of money, what you can do this time is use YouTube, but then connect it with a WordPress website. Now, if you don't know how to use WordPress websites, it's completely, it's, it's so easy, it's ridiculous. Just literally go right now, open up another tab, and just literally go to YouTube and just type in how to create a funnel or a landing page with WordPress. I'm not even joking, just Google that right now, in, 20, in 2022 or 2023, whenever you're watching this. Just literally YouTube that right now and it will show you exactly step-by-step step how to create a WordPress landing page. Because all you need on the page, right, and again, my onboarding process is hosted on WordPress. It's just that I use Vimeo with WordPress instead of YouTube and WordPress. I'll explain that in a second. So the free way is just to use YouTube on its own, no website. That doesn't look as professional. But when you start using YouTube plus a WordPress website, it looks a little bit more professional because now you've got an actual URL you can send over to your clients instead of it just being a YouTube link, you can send an actual, you know, web, an actual web page to them, a URL, proper URL to an actual website with text on it and buttons on it. That's what makes it look a little bit more professional and a background on, on there. So basically your onboarding process is gonna be a web a website, well this method is anyway, the cheap way, where you're using WordPress. WordPress is gonna be a WordPress website, like an actual web a website. Just imagine a, web, a, a, a website right now. All that's gonna be at the top is obviously the URL at the top. Then there's gonna be a text piece of text saying, you know, step one of the onboarding process, introduction to the onboarding process, or what to expect from the onboarding process. Underneath that piece of text is going to be a video that you've hosted on YouTube that's just been embedded on, on there. Then there's going to be a button below that 
awesome piece of, well, there's gonna be a piece of text below that just explaining the onboarding process. And then below that, there'll be a button that says, take me to the next step or take me to step two. That's basically all you need on your, on, on your actual page. So there's only like five or six elements. There's the title of the page, which is, you know, step one, introduction to onboarding. The second element would be the actual video itself, just in the middle, bang in the middle. Then below that would be a piece of text. And then below the piece of text would be a button to take them to the next step. It's basically it. And then when you go to like step three, where they have to sign contracts, there'll be two buttons. There'll be, you know, first of all, there'll be the text at the top, you know, step three, pay the invoice and sign the contract. Then it would be a video. Underneath that video would be the actual link to Signwell. Signwell, again, is a contract software, like an e-signature software that they, they, they can press, press and actually go and sign the contract. Then below that would be, and obviously make sure when they click that link, it opens up in a new tab so they can go back to the step three of the onboarding process. It's a little tip there. And when they're on step three, again, below the button for the actual uh, contract, there'll be a button that says, take me to step four of the onboarding process. Very simple stuff, guys. Extremely simple stuff. Now, the cheapest way, like I said, well, the free way is YouTube on its own. A cheap way to do this would be to use YouTube, WordPress, and the Signwell. So that comes out at $13.50 per month total for your onboarding process, which is really good. My, my, so that, that, that's the second, that's the cheapest way. I call it the free way, that's the cheapest way. And then the third way, which would be the actual, my recommended way, which I reckon you guys should do and should use, would be to use Vimeo. Vimeo instead of YouTube. So again, just take the same videos you've recorded and just upload them to Vimeo this time and actually get Vimeo Pro because you can actually remove certain elements. For example, if you created your onboarding process now and you link a client to your onboarding process, it's just on YouTube, What's gonna happen after the video is that they'll get, you know like at the end of this video, you'll see it. You'll, you'll get like recommendations to other random videos and stuff like that, depending on what you've been watching throughout the algorithm. So the algorithm picks up on what you're watching, it will recommend you random videos. Like I don't know, Taylor Swift or whatever you guys are watching. But long story short, it will, re it will recommend like random videos. Vimeo doesn't do that. You can control whether they can have the play bar, you can control what's, what gets seen after the video. If there's anything after the video, with my Vimeo, there's nothing after the video. So it looks slightly more professional. So my recommended way is to use Vimeo for $12 per month plus WordPress. WordPress is free, but you need to pay for hosting, which is $3.50. I should have mentioned that in the previous method. And then there's Signwell. So it comes out to $25.50 per month. And by the way, that's my recommended way. Again, WordPress is the thing that you house the actual onboarding process on. That's the link you send. So this would be like, you know, mcgagency.com forward slash onboarding process. There you go. You send that to them. They land on the, on page one of your onboarding process, and they go through it. And it's like an actual word, like an actual web website that they go through. So it looks professional. And the videos are, are hosted using Vimeo for twelve dollars per month. And then you've got three dollars fifty for, for for hosting. And then you've got ten dollars per month for Signwell. Bring in your total at twenty five dollars. Call it twenty six dollars total. Now we've got a ball away, which is the way I don't recommend unless you're making like more than five k to ten k per month, which I still don't even use. I just cannot be able to move my onboarding process over to ClickFunnels. But long story short, the ball away is to use ClickFunnels and Vimeo. So you can use uh, ClickFunnels. And again, if you're inside of Ashramitation, I have the template for ClickFunnels inside of there. So you don't even need to worry about building this. It's already built for you. All you would do is just build the same landing page that you would with WordPress, but on, on ClickFunnels instead. And then you would use Vimeo as well. So the total comes out at like, what, nine, $119 per month. ClickFunnels is actually um, $97 per month. Then you've got Vimeo, which is $12 per month. And then you probably have to pay for hosting because you've got a domain as well. That's $3.50 per month. So you can obviously do the maths there. But that's the ball away. Again, the way how I recommend it, just last but not least, is just use Vimeo, grab Vimeo, grab a WordPress website, combine the two. That's all you need to do, guys. That's your onboarding process complete. I recommend getting your onboarding process complete before you start doing outreach. It only takes you maybe like a day, two days tops to complete, but once it's done, you pretty much can set it and forget it for years on end. I haven't updated my onboarding process for like literally two or three years. It's literally nuts, and it still works to this day. If it's not broke, don't fix it. I mean, I probably could update it. I probably will update it eventually, obviously. But long story short, guys, that's the onboarding process in its entirety. I know a lot of people are gonna be angry about this. Probably people in implementation are gonna be angry about this as well. So I'm giving out so much free value, but that is literally the onboarding process I use to this day. Please, please, please implement this. Go do it right now. Anyway, guys, if you guys are interested in rolling inside of agency tributation, it is still open for enrollment at 997 USD. Absolutely insane results that we've been getting. Go to my Instagram at montel.gordon, that's my only Instagram, and just go and look at the updated student results throughout there, because that's the that's the place I'm posting results pretty much every single, I think, I think we've had 
at least two or three results every single day since the day the actual program has been released. And most people are saying programs don't work and Upwork is dead and oversaturated. I'm like, yeah, what is this then? Like every, pretty much every single day I've had at least one to three or maybe even four like pr pretty much like, like student results. It's literally nuts. Anyway guys, don't forget to drop a like on this video. Um, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.